This is definitely one of those videos where I thought to myself, hey, this will be simple. I can do a simple tutorial, something very obvious that maybe somebody out there can utilize in their life. And of course, things have to go wrong, stuff gets complicated, and the video doesn't turn out to be what I expected. In today's video, I'm going to be covering installing Plex on Windows 11, how easy it is, and how it did not work for me. What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. Like I said, I installed Plex on Windows 11. I thought that it would be a very simple process. I could record a video, say, hey, look, it's the same process. Nothing is complicated. There shouldn't be any issues. After all, Windows 11 is basically Windows 10.2 with, you know, more spyware and more junk. Lo and behold though, it did not work out that way. I'm sure by now you guys are familiar with the Simply NUC home base media server extreme. This is something I not only made a dedicated video about on how powerful it is, it's got, I wanna say a 10th gen processor in there. The, ex uh, the hardware accelerated transcoding on Plex is insanely great on this. I mean, overall, this has been a beefy, beefy little micro NUC that can run Plex like just way better than <clears throat> my main server. Just transcoding. It only has 10 terabytes of SSD storage in it. So, you know, it's not as big as my main, it doesn't matter. So what's a better option than upgrading this little NUC to Windows 11? After all, it's got all the compatibility that it, that it needs. It's that security 2.0, set etc. Et you know, eh. Essentially, I went and downloaded the Windows 11 checkup where it basically checks compatibility for your computer to make sure everything is okay. And this thing hit on all cylinders. So perfect candidate. From there, I really thought it was just gonna be easy. So I followed the normal steps of downloading the Windows 11 upgrade software, plugging it in, letting it do its thing, and that was it. It was probably one of the simplest upgrade processes I have ever experienced. I mean, it was quick. It carried all the programs over. Most of the programs, I think, were there. I did not run them all, but, you know, it worked. Including Plex. It was already installed. I had to actually go and uninstall it just so I could show the reinstallation, which is where I thought I messed up at first, but more on that here in a second. So I upgraded to Windows 11, uninstalled Plex, and then reinstalled Plex, which as you would imagine, just like any Windows, you know, installation of a Plex media server, it's just literally a, mat a matter of going to the website, downloading the installation file, and running it. I mean, it kind of walks you through it step by step, holds your hand on how to install the Plex media server on a Windows machine nothing complicated. And since I upgraded my Windows 10 to Windows 11 and it carried over all of my files, it actually carried over all of my configurations for Plex even after I uninstalled it and reinstalled it. So my libraries were there, I had to do some refreshing, whatever, but for the most part, everything worked. So at this point, you're thinking to yourself, hey, this is stupid easy and why would I even watch a video on this? But I'm getting to the good part. And that is, Transcoder failed. Now, this is a little bit like Minesweeper when you go in and you click on random movies and some of them will play and some of them won't. I did not take the time to figure out if it was codec, you know, file format, anything like that, what it was. I just randomly tried to play different movies and some of them would play and some of them would not. I tried some very basic troubleshooting steps, including deleting the codex folder, restarting Plex, restarting the computer, running a bunch of upgrades, et cetera, et cetera. But I still ran into issues where some movies, one that I focused on specifically was Bad Boys, would not initiate the transcoder and thus would not play. I tested this with not only the Plex HTPC I have installed on my main computer to see if it was some kind of a browser compatibility issue, but I ran into the same problem. So then I thought to myself, okay, I upgraded Windows 10. I went to Windows 11 and I carried a bunch of files over. And if history has taught me anything, when you upgrade and you try to keep a lot of the old stuff there, sometimes things get messy. They don't always get messy, but th sometimes it just gets messy. So my next go-to solution was to completely nuke my Windows installation. That's right, I went into the Windows 11 reset option. I re-downloaded a completely new version of Windows 11 and nuked 
everything, deleted all the files, started from scratch, and that led me to figuring out and realizing that setting up Windows 11 Home is a ginormous pain in the butt, and Microsoft coincidentally has blocked any creation of a new email that includes Windows 11 sucks. Seriously, I tried so many of them, like things that no one else would use, and it's just like, nope, not available. Windows don't like you make fun of them like that. So after I went through my little miniature boxing match getting Windows 11 Home version installed, I was greeted with the dumpster fire of an interface for Windows 11. I used the amazing web browser Microsoft Edge to go to Plex.tv. Of course, I signed in, then went to the Plex Media Server page, downloaded the Plex Media Server.exe, and installed it. Since I'm now a few hours into this troubleshooting, this is really kind of a cliff note situation for me right now, I'm telling you the cliff notes. Uh, since now I'm three or so hours into this, I figured, hey, let's just try the problematic files. I have Bad Boys 1, it will not play. Bad Boys 2, it will play. So I just tried those two. Even after a fresh install, all of the updates, a completely new session of Plex being installed on this system it would not initiate the transcoder to play this specific video file, which means that if I would have set up all of the other movies with this Plex Media Server, I would have been having the same problems, like playing Minesweeper, like click this, play, click this, explode. From here, I took it upon myself to do some expert Google researching, seeing if anyone else ran into the same problem with Windows 11 and Plex. I know Windows 11 is brand new. I know they've also updated Plex recently. They constantly upgrade Plex for compatibility. So I thought maybe someone else has had this issue. Really the closest thing that I've found is since version 1.20, there has been some trailer playback issues, but I couldn't find anything specifically with Windows 11 and Plex. So I spent another half an hour or so trying a few different things in the registry, deleting codecs again. I actually went back to my main server and re-grabbed the bad boys file that I know plays off of my main server just to make sure that I wasn't crazy and the file was corrupt for some reason and put that on there and I still had the same results. After all that, I decided I hate Windows 11 with a passion, can't stand it. I hate how they force you to set it up with an online account if you have Windows Home. There's so many other reasons. This is not about how much I hate Windows 11. So I re reinstalled Windows 10. I went back. Now that of course did take a little bit to get done, but once Windows 10 started up and just a fresh install, deleted everything again. I downloaded Plex, I installed it, I set it up, I tested Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2, and they both played. No problem. Windows 10 will play it and had no issues whatsoever, which was something I experienced before because I've never ran into this issue, especially with Mighty Nuck. I guess I should specify, I've never ran into this issue with Mighty Nuck, but with Windows 11, I did. So after hours of troubleshooting with Windows 11, trying all different kinds of things, reinstalling Windows multiple times, and coming to the conclusion that Windows 11 sucks and Plex may or may not be ready to run on a Windows 11 machine reliably, my thoughts to you is if you're considering Windows 11 versus Windows 10 as a Plex media server, don't do it. It's a trap, at least right now. I mean, this is 2021, it's almost November, it's October 2021. As it sits right now, version 1.24 on the Plex Media Server, it does not seem to like to run perfectly. But before I close with that negative statement, whether it's geared more towards 11 or more towards Plex, I do also wanna emphasize that this is a limited testing environment, meaning that I only tried it on this. Yes, I could soil my laptop with Windows 11 and see if I run into the same problem. Yes, I could have troubleshooted for another four hours or maybe reached out to some people on my Discord to see if they've had any issues on their end running Plex on Windows 11, but I didn't. Instead, I just stuck with the latest and greatest, newest processor that I have from Intel that, that handles hardware accelerated transcoding and I upgraded it to Windows 11. It's compatible. It shouldn't have had a problem, but it just would not do it. And yes, just in case you're wondering, I did try disabling hardware accelerated transcoding. I went through a bunch of different settings and re 
enabling and re-enabling different things, trying to get it to work, but I just could not get it to work reliably. So there you have it guys, installing Plex on a Windows 11 machine is just as simple as the exact same process as installing Plex on a Windows 10 machine, or for that matter, Windows 7. However, whether it has something to do with Windows 11 or something to do with Plex that needs updated, in my experience, it does not have the same reliability as Windows 10 does. Now I know that there are some of my subscriber base that are those early adopters who like to try out these new operating systems and completely embrace change. Me, I don't. I want Windows 10. Before Windows 10, I wanted Windows 7. So I don't foresee me getting Windows 11 anytime soon, within the next two, maybe three years. So uh, if you've tried this yourself, I wanna know if you've ran into any transcoding issues, like starting the transcoder, initializing it, playing all of your video files. And if so, did you find a way to fix it? Leave those in the comments section down below. As always, thank you very much to Plex for sponsoring a monthly video on my channel. I do appreciate you guys supporting my channel. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything, post those in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself a day. A day. Yeah, I'm going with it.